Hello guys, uh, my name is Jacques Venter, I'm the chief designer of Gannett. Uh, all the Gannets that you have seen in the market was designed by myself and my team of guys that helped me bring the things to market. Um, today we are very excited to introduce to you the next generation of drone release systems. Um, but before we do that, let's have a little quick stroll down memory lane. Uh, Gannett started back in 2016 and we produced drone release systems similar to this one. Um, this is the Phantom 4 Gannett, this is the Mark II, uh, and it was designed in this way for a specific reason. Uh, we wanted the electronics away from the Phantom 3's very sensitive compass that's at the bottom of the legs, and we wanted the bottom release boom to be as small as possible, not to interfere with the camera on the drone or the downward VPS sensors. Um, those VPS sensors are actually quite, quite sensitive and anything big down here gets picked up by them. Uh, this model is slowly but surely being discontinued at the moment, although we still have clients that are specifically asking for it. So we still build them uh, on request. By the end of last year, we released, uh, we designed the Gannett X and we started shipping them at the beginning of this year. The Gannett X takes all the shortcomings of the original Gannett, um, like uh, having on the original Gannett we had a specific charger, a specific USB charger, and on this one we actually built the charging circuit in on the uh, custom-made PC board. Um, this one now gives you a battery level indication, it installs on a drone very quickly. Uh, it is the same as that one in that it clears the VPS sensors. This backward curve is to clear those sensors and the front curve there is to clear the drone cameras of the different models. So remember this one fits uh, all the Phantom 3s and all the Phantom 4s. Um, installs on a drone literally in seconds. Simple two rubber bands at the bottom holds it in place on the landing legs and the light center simply clips in place. Uh, over the light, this is Phantom 4 light sensor and the Phantom 3 light sensor is here on the top of it. Uh, the major advancement of this release above the original one is that uh, it would, it can automatically unhook if you had a real jam. So if you are flying out in this manner and you had a real jam, the line will automatically unhook if you had, uh, even if you had a seagull fly into it. So this release has been doing extremely well. It is also very popular. However, we had some requests for guys that want to now go troll baits. And if you want to troll a bait, you need a different kind of release. So we designed the little Gannett Sport. And the little Gannett Sport has actually become my go-to release. This is the one I use whenever I want to go drone fishing. Um, it's a no fuss release. You simply clip the line in, set it to your desired load, which is extremely easily done there. You've got a, a dial wheel on this side, Adjust it up, you've got an indication of where you are in the settings range, hook it onto the drone, fly out whenever you come to the area where you want to be, just simply stop the reel and it unhooks, there we go. Um, like I say, this is my go-to release. Now, these are all for the Phantom drones. We've also done a, a similar thing for the Mavics and so on. This is a Mavic 2 release. Um, same as the Phantom releases, it works off a light sensor, so lights on, uh, when it's closed, lights off, and it drops the load. Very simple. And obviously, the Gannett Sport, we also copied for the Mavics. This particular model actually fits all the Mavics, uh, Mavic 1, Mavic 2, Mavic Air. Uh, for the Mavic Air, you need a little adapter plate like this. Screw it in place. Simply screw it with one, one little screw in place, and there we go, it now fits the next drone. Uh, if the, the same release also fits the Inspire 2, and Inspire 1, that's the Inspire 2 bracket, and uh, fit another bracket, fit this one, and now we can, with this, go on to the 3DR Solo, or even GoPro Karma, and so on, and so on, and so on. This has become an extremely popular little release because it's so versatile, with setting ranges going from below 50 grams to over 2 kilograms. All right, but, uh, Many guys don't like the, the fact that you have to uh, stop the drone dead in its tracks by stopping your reel to release. So a lot of guys are still asking for the electric release. They want to fly to a 
precision point, press a button and let the load go. So we set about thinking how to accomplish that on a Phantom if we had to get it X and we had to combine the sport into it, something like that. Then you can have a two separate releases. You can clip the line on and fly to a specific point, press a button and release, or you can clip it into the other release and um, go trolling with it, lower a bait to visible tuna. But, I mean, why do that? You might as well simply uninstall the one and install the other one if you want to do uh, trolling versus precision dropping. So that didn't really make a lot of sense. But as we are, we don't give up. We come up, came up with a new design. So if I can start this one. There it is on the screen. And what that is, is the new Gannett Export. This is both those releases in one. So we literally have a Gannett Sport on the one side, but we incorporated into it an electric release. So this side houses all the electronics. There's the batteries in here, the PC board that controls it is in here, and obviously the electric server is in here. It uses exactly the same sensor as we have on the Gannett X. So that sensor will fit all your Phantom 4s and all your Phantom 3s. Uh, we will obviously bring out in the next month or so one that fits the Mavics. All right, how does it work? Okay, currently it is set up, I set it up for just over a kilogram. So that's my safe load at the moment. If, uh, if I had to have a real jam, it would simply unhook. Um, I don't, the electronics not, is not even on at the moment. If I had to switch the electronics on, now it's open. Now the line, the line can't stick. All right, so you had, you had to switch the li drone lights on, and there we go, it's, oops, come, come again. I have no light here, so I just want to switch it on. There we go, switch it on, there we go. And now it's hooked in. So it literally is the two releases in one now. Let's bring our light here. I'll press this in one. All right. So if I switch it on, there we go. Line will drop. Line will, it's actually loose now. Close it. That's closed now. So that would unhook in that manner. Light away, it's open, line in, and close it again. There we go. It's just as simple as that. It's literally a Gannett X uh, combined with a Gannett Sport all in one. Well, we are very excited about this little guy. It's going to take us about uh, two or so more weeks before we have production models ready to ship. Uh, we'll get it back. Uh, we'll get it up in our store pretty soon, and after about a month, the Gannett uh, uh, export for the Mavics will also be available. There you go, guys. It's a whole new way of fishing. For the first time, it uh, you are completely safe while flying a bait out. You don't need to worry about what happens if you've got a real jam. Um, you don't need to worry about seagulls, unless of course you've got a seagull attacking your drone, but that seldom happens. Uh, it's more often that a pelican or a seagull will fly into your line and this release will save your drone. I think this will become the world standard. If you want to save your drone and fish safely, this is it. Gannet Sport combined with a Gannet X, all in one. The release is still very light. Uh, there's mechanical releases that are actually heavier than this one. This one comes in at 68 grams. So it's a little bit heavier than the Gannett, than the Gannett X. Of course, quite a lot heavier than the Gannett Sport, which is uh, under 20 grams. Um, but if you want the electronics, plus a battery, plus, 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 all in one, this is it. It obviously installs on, in, on a drone in seconds. Simply hook it by the two rubber bands. Just that rubber band and this one. There we go, it's on. Okay guys, 
I hope you've enjoyed that. This really is an awesome little release. Everything that you guys have been asking for, all built into one. Till next time. Cheers.